Hey guys, David, Three Rivers Card Collector, back with another video. Today I'm going to be going through some pickups that have just been sitting around that I don't think I've showed off yet, and some big stuff that uh, I've picked up the past week or so. So first things first, uh, I've showed these on the channel a few times before. These are the Impact Parallel from the Unparalleled set of Patrick Mahomes. These are numbered 75. They did unparalleled up through 2019, I believe, before they uh, quit doing it. Maybe they did a 2020 set. But I've got the 2018 and 2019 Mahomes in the back. Lots of shine, cool design on those. But I picked up the this one. This is a Chronicles insert from 2021 Chronicles. But these ones are numbered to 125, so they're not as rare. But uh, cool design. Doesn't have as much shine as the other ones did, because those were like full card ones. But still a really cool parallel, and this, I think, cost me like $3. So happy to add that one there. Um, I did a trade with Theo at Clemente Collector. And uh, I received this Demanche. It's like a Canadian issued picture. It was in like a binder, so it's got the three hole punches there. But it's a really cool picture. Let's see if I can get this on there. of him signing some autographs and sitting up in the stands with fans. It's really happy to have that one. I traded my Harmony Dairy for that one. Uh, happy to see that that one went to a good home. So that's always a good thing about trading within the community there. About a month or so ago, Orlando over at A Collector's Dream did a video showcasing some baseball books, both just baseball history and hobby history. And he showed a Cracker Jacks card by the Zapalas, and uh, I picked up this T206 book by them, The Players and Their Stories, the T206 collection by Tom and Ellen Zapala. Uh, I'll just show you what this is about in case you're curious, but it kind of goes through in alphabetical order, some of, like all the players in the set, gives a quick little biography type deal, some basic stats, and then it shows pictures of all their cards. So this one's really cool, and then it goes through all, even like the Southern Leaguers and Hall of Famers, not Hall of Famers. Talks a little bit about the value and how uh, this is kind of a different set than all the other sets because of the back rarities, talks about the Ty Cobb back, and then it does go through all the different backs. It kind of gives an estimate on the rarity level compared to everything else, and then gives like a little history about the, uh, the sets. So really cool book if you're a T206 collector or if you want to learn more about T206s. Definitely check that book out. I think it was 20 or 25 dollars on amazon so well worth it uh -huh. um good for me as i'm trying to learn about that set and collect it a little more so uh, i'll be using that as a resource for sure i went to my lcs today to grab some uh, shipping materials i use the graded card sleeves a lot just to kind of group uh lots of top loaders together but uh Picked up this box of Synergy Hockey. It's like a hundred bucks. I heard it's a fun rip. I've never opened Synergy before, but uh, I didn't want to spend a ton of money. Upper Deck lately with their hit products have been uh, pretty poor quality. So I uh, left that one alone and just grabbed this uh, fun rip instead. Uh, so to close this out, I got two massive uh, card editions. Uh, like I said in my last video for goals, I've been doing a lot of consolidation and I want to continue that, but I uh, used some of those consolidation funds already and added two big cards. 
So I did a trade plus cash to upgrade my Lemieux rookie from a SGC seven and a half tops to this PSA eight OPG. So if you're new to hockey or you don't normally do hockey, Tops and OPG have the same exact card design, OPG being Canadian. So the back, as you can see, a lot of French on there. Whereas Tops is the American version. And then the easy uh, way to notice if you're not looking at the language, see how white this back is? Um, Think of like 1956 top, so there's a white and a gray back. Tops has that very gray, dull back, while the OPG has this very vibrant white and red on the back. Especially with the Canadian players, the OPG is the uh, much preferred version. So th these are worth significantly more than the tops ones are. So happy to upgrade to the OPG for Lemieux. And then I did a deal with fellow YouTuber, Ballpark Memories. This is Garrett. He's also on Twitter and Facebook. Very good vintage baseball seller. Easy to work with. Very good variety at all times. And he's always adding more. So definitely check him out and uh, support him. Like I said, he's on YouTube. So scan that. I believe it takes you to his YouTube channel. But he showed this in his video recently too, but this is one of my favorite cards and I really wanted to make a run at getting this. So my first consolidation purchase is the 1954 Topps Hank Aaron Rookie. So this is an SGC one. Can't tell by the front for sure. Those colors are phenomenal. Little wrinkles and creases, but the registration which can be difficult with this set, is beautiful. The orange is sharp. This was a scrapbook card. So there's a little bit of extra paper there to make up for the paper loss. But that doesn't bother me too, too much. Very expensive card, especially if you want one with this kind of front registration and color. So. Very happy to sacrifice a little bit of back issues for this card. So that'll do it for my pickups. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. If I don't put one out before then, have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy some time with your family, friends. And uh, remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. And uh, thankful for him and everything he's done for me. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.